This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 3. Alright, I see some code here, so right away I want to click run and check it out. Ooh, we have a very slow moving car. Alright, do we have other animations? Nope. Alright, alright. So, um, let's see what we're doing. Velocity and the counter pattern. As you just saw, using a sprite.velocity property, and again, a property just means a variable, this velocity x, that is assigned only to that sprite, right? So velocity or sprite dot means, hey, this velocity x is a property, is a variable of sprite. With the counter pattern, we'll change a sprite's velocity during the program. This makes the sprite speed up. Do a little practice using this pattern yourself. Do this. This program already makes the car move across the screen. Yes, it does, because it starts our velocity right here, right? It creates this variable car, sets the animation to the red car, and it sets its x velocity to 0.2, which is slow. Uh, move across the screen, but it's going very slowly. Use the counter pattern with the sprite's velocity x property to make the card speed up. All right, so that's a lot of technical stuff. We want this car to speed up. So we're going to use a counter pattern, meaning we're counting, well, <laughs> meaning we're counting, we're counting up. We need to increase the x velocity. So how do we do that? Well, I can tell you right off the bat, we're going to need something from variables equals update sprites, right? We're going to update the sprites velocity. So now I need to go to sprite, drop it here. We do not have anything named sprite. We named our variable car and signed it the red car animation. So this is going to be car. Now, we're not going to just put a number here. Because if I just put 5 or something, that just makes the velocity 5. And it doesn't actually increase it after that. We want a plus. Choop. And now I'm going to take this x velocity again and drop it in. And that's assigned to car. So what we're telling the computer so far is, hey, computer, each time you run our draw loop, which is like 20 or 30 times a second, check out the car dot velocity x. Set it equal to car dot velocity x plus, and then I'm gonna say I don't know, 0.2. Okay, so each time it's gonna take whatever velocity x was the last time, add 0 .0, 0 0.2 to it, and then make that the new velocity. Then draw it. And remember, we're graying out the background each time. We don't even see that. It's just so the car doesn't smear across the screen. All right, let me go ahead and test out my uh, code. Vroom. So that increased some. Maybe I want it a bit faster. I'm going to do 0.4. Let's see if we can see how fast it's going. That's a bit better. Great. So let me just make sure I followed all these. Use the counter with this sprite's velocity property to make the card speed up. Yep. So this is the code that worked for me. Great. Let's keep going.